Hey, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, and I'm sitting in a place called Pex Lake. It's in between Jupiter and Stewart. We're only about a half, oh, never mind. Hold on, I'm getting bit right here. So I'm trying to do an intro, y'all, and next thing you know, I'm getting bit. Okay, like I said, we're out here at Pex Lake in between Jupiter and Stewart, and I'm fishing for mackerel. Now, anytime I'm fishing for mackerel, I'll take a bigger bait, put it out on the bottom, because you never know when something bigger is gonna come along. But this is what I'm using today. Got a nice little suspending jerk bait. Mackerel love bright colors, silver, chartreuse, uh, anything that looks like a little fish. And from about December to April, you can come here anytime, literally. Come out of Jupiter Inlet and run north, or come out of Stewart Inlet and run south. Get out here in about 25 feet of water, and typically, it's super easy to catch them. The great thing about them, though, is that they're so good to eat. Oh, look at the bite right there. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. It's the biggest mackerel I've had in quite some time. Oh. Or I could have him foul hooked. What in the world? What do I have? Dude, I got a jumbo mac hooked in the tail. There, look at the size mackerel. Hooked right, actually, in the tail. Are you seeing that? Beautiful, jumbo size Spanish mackerel. Yep, buddy. Take him, nice ice brine. Perfect. Winner, winner. I got a mackerel for dinner. Every time you catch a fish, check your leader. I'm using 40 pound fluorocarbon, and this is some kind of little Sabeel jerk bait. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> Dude, if you don't like this, something's wrong with you, man. So cool. Another big one, bro. Look at that. Big Spanish Mac. Yeah. Oh. Stud. Big one. And be sure to use pliers when dealing with these guys. They have crazy teeth. There you go. And if you wonder why I'm wearing my frog togs, they get scales everywhere, scales and blood. So I wear this and whenever I get home, I can just wash it off. And if you guys go to frogtogs.com and use promo code DEERMEAT20, you'll get 20% off and free shipping. Stud. What a great day. So that's all I'm using right there. It was brand new, but it's getting pretty destroyed pretty fast. Normally I only keep one or two fish. But I know for a fact, when I go back and start smoking these rascals up, when I go back and start smoking them, everybody's gonna show up like, hey, let me get some of that smoked fish. And I'm gonna be like, all right. In the box, little rascal. Shake it loose. I'm half tempted to file down the barbs. I'm having a hard time even thinking what to say. It's so cool. Got him. Look at that guy. Ooh. Ooh yeah, baby. 
Now that is a more typical sized Spanish mackerel right there. They go into full aggro mode, start shaking them little razor sharp teeth everywhere and it's nuts. They will cut you bad. They really like it to have action. The more erratic the behavior of the lure, the more the fish like it. Whoa. A swing and a miss! Let me make sure my hooks are okay. Look okay to me. It, the, the bait wasn't even moving, it was just sitting on the surface. Look how gorgeous these fish are in the water. This is the best way I've found to take care of these fish. Oh man, he just decided he didn't want to go in the box. In, straight into the cooler, just like that. Take your pliers, get your hook out, and repeat process. That's about all the fish I need, so we're gonna run back, I'm gonna go over to fishing headquarters, and I'm gonna show you all the tackle that you need to go on a successful mackerel fishing trip. This is my good friend, Pete Schultz. Pete has known me literally since I was not even as tall as the counter. <laughs> um, he's had this shop, he and his brother have had this shop, it's called Fishing Headquarters here in Jupiter. And um, I told you I was gonna come by and show you how to catch mackerel. What you saw us fishing with out there worked, clearly it worked, but this would actually work a lot better. What are the top rigs? So if I was to go, try to catch from a boat, you know, where you are over the fish doing what you were doing today. You know, this is probably one of the best lures out there. It's got that green flash, mackerel kingfish like that green color. So for years, this was a drone spoon with a chartreuse tape was what all the commercial guys used to catch king mackerel. Right. So Spanish mackerel, you know, this is that jig. It's got a lot of flash in it. It's easy to use. It sinks fast. It comes in a couple different sizes, but this is easy to use. And the best way to use this one, and I'm not sure on the lure you're using today, Robert, but on this one, you want to cast it out, sink it all the way to the bottom, put your rod tip in the water and just reel it. You know how those mackerel, yeah, yeah, yeah. they love to chase oh, yeah. and they want to come up and eat it. Yeah. So the faster you retrieve it, the better. The same thing works with these spoons. This is a two, this is a smaller size of this spoon. So if you take that out of the package, yeah, it's exactly the same as this king spoon, only designed for mackerel. Right. But one of the, this is almost works as a long shank hook. So when you have that fish, you saw me wearing the, uh, the frog tog bibs. I like to hold them up against me and you can use the, the spoon to pry it out of their mouth. Sure. If you're squeamish with fish at all, use pliers because, specifically needle nose pliers because their teeth are nitro sharp. You know what's nice about this though? When you have that spoon, exactly what you were saying, it's more like an extension of the hook. You can actually tie some 50 pound mono to this mm. instead of using a piece of wire mm. and you'll get more bites yeah. because it has more action. That's why I had this 50 pound clear mono leader is what yeah. I use. If you're using one of these and you're using mono, because the fish gets the whole bait in its mouth, you're gonna to wanna to use a little bit of a wire leader. No question, you're absolutely right. This is also a jig that you can use the same way, Robert. It's got the treble hook on it. I would take the treble hook off with a sing hook on because it makes it easier to get the hook exactly. out. But these, you know, they come in a one ounce, two ounce, three ounce, whatever it takes to get the bait down. Remember, they like, they're on the bottom and they like to chase. So if you get your bait to the bottom and you bring it up to the top, they're gonna to go get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, another thing, you guys, if you're gonna do this, stop by anywhere and buy five or 10 pounds of frozen glass minnows. Absolutely. Throw them in a bucket full of salt water, let them thaw out all the way, let them thaw out. So then when you get out there, uh, maybe take like a quarter of a handful and just start, just sort of broadcast them out on the water. Yep. And you'll see them just start 
ripping it up. Bluefish, uh, blue runners, mackerel, everything comes into that. Uh, you can it's also interesting that you said salt water because most people don't realize that. And you know because when you put it in the salt water, it slowly defrosts and it stays together. If you put it in fresh water, it starts to break down and they get mushy. That's right. Basically, any day that it's calm enough from late November into early May. During Thanksgiving through Easter, those fish are here year round, you know, that time of the year. It's cooler water temperatures, we get the north wind, we're getting a north wind tonight, northwest, we're gonna get a cold front. Now when that happens, you can also use something like this from the beach. Yeah. If you walk the beach and you weren't in the, you were just walking the beach, you can take this and cast it from the beach and bring it in. When the, we get those north winds, the water gets a little dirtier right. on the beach, a little milky water, and you'll catch mackerel that way too. And just so you know, we're not trying to sell you anything expensive. I'm not really trying to sell you anything. I'm trying to give you the idea of how to do it. These are like two or three bucks. Right. Uh, the loot, how much are these? They're like six bucks. Six dollars. Four ninety-nine. Yeah. So, so yeah. Very not expensive. expensive. Yeah, not expensive at all. Did you show the ball bearing swivel? That's a key. So not that's like an insider trading deal right there. That's a ball bearing swivel. It's a this is as much as this. Two bucks. But what this does is it'll spin freely. So if you're using your spoon and that spoon is, is spinning, it won't spin up all your line, which would drive you mad. And between me and you, if I came here and bought this spinning reel, I would have them take off that monofilament and put on 20 pound braid. Yeah, all you need to do is pull off about half of the mono and put $12 worth of a braid on top. And you don't, it, it saves you the amount of money from getting the whole thing with braid that you'll never use. You'll never get to it. As you know, macro fishing, yeah. you're gonna get down to a certain point, it's gonna be, it's too low. I need to pull some off and put more on. Right. Fill a reel halfway with braid. Okay, it saves so you some money. The braid doesn't get spun up like regular monofilament. And you guys, mackerel fishing is one of the most underappreciated fish in the world. Now we're gonna go out of the house, clean them up, throw them on the smoker, because tomorrow I've got the whole like Washington Nationals baseball team coming over for a big night. We're gonna have a bunch of fish dips. So we will see you at the new house. All right, you guys, this is one of the all time hardest fish you'll ever clean. So let me just get right into it. Take your knife, cut up into the head, Take your knife, start down here at the, at the tail. Okay. And that is one filet. I hope you are picking up my sarcasm. One of the great things about mackerel is that they are extremely easy to catch and they're extremely easy to clean. Take that knife, just run it right up. You hear, oh, hear Emma crying in the background. There you go. That fish has been cleaned. All right, so check this out, you guys. We're gonna be smoking these up. See these little tail pieces? My chickens love them. They're gonna devour that. And then these are from a Bradley smoker. I just bought it. These are the little non-skid uh, grill racks so nothing sticks. We just wanna lay these in here like that. I want them to lay in nice and even. I'm so excited about this. I love smoked fish. Years ago, I went to New Zealand and to all my Kiwi friends out there, oh my goodness. The smoked fish I had on your island was the best. It, it was so good, I can't even express it. Now, I know there's a lot of different brining techniques. This is so fresh, I'm just gonna use three different seasonings. Original fish and chicken and the Everglades cactus dust. I'm using mesquite wood, the little briquettes. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little on there like that. That's ready to go in the smoker. Because I don't have a cameraman here and I don't have a tripod, I'm just gonna have to tell you. I'm gonna take all this meat off the skin, break it up and put it in that pot. See that? See how it just comes right off there? Look at that, perfect. 
do it on both of them just so you know I'm not faking it. it just comes right off then you just wash this and you're done I wish you could smell how good this smells and all this meat will literally just peel right off the skin just like that we got a big old giant bowl of smell good smoked mackerel this makes dip first things first let's just add a bunch of miracle whip in there a lot of fish so it's going to take a lot of miracle whip about like that and i'm just going to start cutting it up i could have put the miracle whip in after i cut it up but i didn't because i want it to sort of like start getting infused in there Make sure you got your hands there in case any of it tries to jump out. And you just start working it in. Wickle relish. This is like a like a spicy relish. If you've never had it, you probably should. This is a tri-colored pepper mix. Celery. Bunch of onions. Oh, you guys check that out right there beautiful texture awesome aroma smoked mackerel salad now take some of it put you on a piece of white bread just like that mm. Mm -mm -mm. you've got the crunch of the celery and the pepper and the onion It's like every bite gives you something new. Mm -mm -mm. That beautiful smoky flavor the fish got out of that Bradley smoker. Winner. Mm. Easy to catch, easy to clean, easy to cook, awesome to eat. Love you guys. Have a great day. We got so much going on, and uh, I'll see you soon. That's all I got for you today. Heading out to the camp. Gonna feed this to all the guys, and we will see you soon. But for now, we out.